hi today i will be teaching you a feature called loft so go to new part and make it ok so now what's a loft a loft can be made between two planes i will show you how to make a loft you will find the feature loft in features let's see how it works left click on the front plane make it normal left click ok go to sketch by left click and draw a circle I will be making the circle in line with the origin this is the origin the orange dot ok left click and now this is made in the front plane you do exit sketch now select the plane in which the circle was made so it was the front plane just see in the isometric view how the circle looks ok now we go to features and go to reference geometry left click then again make a plane now see you can see 10 millimeters so the new plane is 10 millimeters away from the origin plane there are two arrows top and up and down look what happens the new plane is going away from the original plane the pink plane is the original plane and it comes near if you decrease the distance and you need to make a sketch on this plane the new plane now what is flip yes flip goes on the other side on the right hand side of the original plane and if you don't want this flip untick with the left mouse click button it comes on the left hand side of the front plane ok so I want to make this plane at a distance called 50 ok left click done now here this is a new plane make it normal and I will draw a sketch on this plane go to sketch and I'll make one more circle ok so let me make a circle and with the help of smart dimensions I will give some dimensions this is 81 I don't want 81 I want 100 ok left click and back now we'll see an isometric view how both the circles look oh both the circles are of same size no, make it normal or else directly go to smart dimension and check this is 100 if it is 100 I wanted it 50 double click is it working? check properly we can check on the left hand side or oh, the dimensions no you can't find the dimensions here this is 100 you again can't find the dimensions so there is no relation between these two circles manually go to sketcher in the sketcher look you can decrease the size of the circle yes I have decreased the size back look after decreasing you can find out this is 58 earlier it was 100 and this is the random figure which I made now let's see how loft works go to features and this is lofted pause space so let's see left click and you can find profiles and guide curves so just click left click on first sketch and again left click on the second sketch look it has made something 
it has made something I don't know what it has made but yes definitely it has made something look look what it has made but this is not what we require so this is typically some error which has been produced by the computer we need to check why the computer has produced such an error so what we'll do is we'll delete the loft first delete yes yes definitely there are two circles but might be there is some problem with this circle so what we'll do is we'll go to sketch edit sketch we'll make it normal and what we'll be doing is we'll make one more sketch first the smaller one the very smaller one from the center and at the same time at the same time this was made by mistake so make it control Z yes select this and delete by keyboard yes now what we can do is exit sketch it produces error close it look how things go wrong this sketch is invalid now if this is invalid what we need to do is delete it yes now again on this plane we'll make some circles so make it normal and then go to sketch and then take a left click and make it a big circle yes now let's see whether it works or not go to features back loft double click left double click it goes back so we have selected the loft feature single click and one click yes it's done it's done so why it was not done earlier because the second sketch the second sketch we deleted was having some problems now the loft is ready for us <coughs> now what we can do in this can we do some modifications let's check this sketch one this is sketch two so we'll go to sketch one and edit sketch and this is a circle what I need is I need a very small circle very small yes this is the small and take it and back look look we have modified this circle this is the modified circle and this is the simple loft which we made and yes it, it is successful now shall we try multiple loft are you ready for it okay let's go for it make it new part okay we'll do this time very quickly let's set the front plane normal sketch circle from this center from the origin a small circle worth any dimensions yes we'll go for some dimensions smart dimensions we'll make this circle uh, as um, 50 okay and uh, again back front plane another plane we need to make so before making another plane we need to select the front plane go to features reference geometry plane okay into isometric we will find something this is 50 I don't want 50 I want 30 3 0 30 okay again in plane 1 go to make it normal first and let's get something in plane 1 sketch circle from here a bigger circle look it gives us the radius 
50 is the radius 50 so diameter 100 look almost 50 almost 50 radius diameter 100 okay back so this is plain to now now important thing is we are going to make the third plane the third plane is will be parallel to the plane one and not parallel to to the original plane original front plane this is original front plane in orange okay and this is blue plane blue plane is in is the second plane now what we are going to do is now going to features and reference geometry one more plane and this plane should be 30 I want it 40 so make it 40 and uh, yes this is done now I want to sketch something on this plane so I'll make it normal first make plane to normal now making one more sketch over here go to sketch circle and I'll make a circle which is almost in between these two okay done again back now let's see this is plane 2 so select plane 2 and with reference to plane 2 I'll be making one more plane to reference geometry left click plane and this should be mm, 30 yes okay and I want to draw something on this plane so go to sketch and make it normal and after making it normal take a circle and a small circle which is similar to the first circle having radius 25 diameter 50 it turns to orange men which means it is 25 look yes right click now now once again with reference to plane 3 one more plane features reference geometry first you need to go back or else we'll find an option called mate reference so make it back yes select plane 3 go to reference geometry one more plane and this is I want this to be 50 so made it 50 and okay and I want to make it normal and then sketch a bigger circle somewhat bigger bigger very big very big okay done back and in isometric view you can find this thing I don't know how the diagram is going to look but let's see what we are making now go to features and do multiple lofting multiple lofting means start selecting the different the different circles one two three four five and five look look make it okay look what we have made it's it's it is great <laughs> it is great this is some kind of flower pot base or f vase what you would call where you keep your flowers and now what you can do is uh, you can alter any of the dimensions just go to sketch if you want to alter this dimension plane one dimensions then open the loft look where are the sketches yes this is the sketch you need to modify and then make it normal or else don't make it normal but yes definitely you can modify this sketch these are the different sketches but 
this is how the multiple loft works this is sketch to double click you will find the dimensions smart dimensions double click the dimensions and make it it was 30 I'll make it 25 25 radius yes you can change it if it is double click is 25 which one is 25 you need to know 25 make it 10 no not 10 15 is it reducing no it is not reducing to reduce this you need to have some other techniques well I will let you know the techniques but before that I can show you one thing you can hide this planes right click and this this is called height left click look it goes plane 2 right click hide left click plane 3 right click hide left click and this is the front plane <coughs> this was the front plane and this is the last plane plane 4 you can make it hidden or just you can click left click height no need to do right click if you come here 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 you can use left clicks left click left click left click show left click show so what you will be doing is left click show left click height left click height this is plane 2 this is plane 1 go to sketch yes the sketch is changing plane 1 plane 2 there are different sketches this is a sketch which I need to change there is sketch look now it can be changed make it a bit make it small done back look the diagram changes so we have made changes in the sketch to change the diagram so you need to hide this and then you need to select the sketch and then you can definitely change the sketch so this was about multiple loft